package covering financing, regulatory changes, and technology support for MSMEs to help them grow and also compete globally, as mentioned in the interim budget. I am happy to announce the following specific measures. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs in the manufacturing sector. For facilitating term loans to MSMEs for purchase of machinery and equipment without collateral or third party guarantee, a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced. The scheme will operate on pooling of credit risks of such MSMEs. A separately constituted self-financing guarantee fund will provide to each applicant guarantee cover up to 100 crore rupees, while the loan amount may be larger. The borrower will have to provide an upfront guarantee fee and an annual guarantee fee on the reducing loan balance. New assessment model for MSME credit. Public sector banks will build their own in-house capability to assess MSMEs for credit instead of relying on external assessment. They will also take a lead in developing or getting developed a new credit assessment model based on the scoring of digital footprints of the MSMEs in the economy. This is expected to be a significant improvement over the traditional assessment of credit eligibility based only on asset or turnover criteria. That will also cover MSMEs without a formal accounting system. Credit support to MSMEs during stress period. I'm happy to announce a new mechanism for facilitating continuation of bank credit to MSMEs during their stress period while being in special mention account, SMA account, SMA stage for reasons beyond their control. MSMEs need credit to continue their business and to avoid getting into the NPA stage. Credit availability will be supported through a guarantee from a government promoted fund. Mudra loans. The limit of mudra loans will be enhanced to 20 lakh from the current 10 lakh for those entrepreneurs. who have availed and successfully repaid previous loans under the Tarun category. Enhanced scope for mandatory onboarding in treads. For facilitating MSMEs to unlock their working capital by converting their trade receivables into cash, I propose to reduce the turnover threshold of buyers for mandatory onboarding on the treads platform from rupees 500 crore to 250 crore rupees. This measure will bring 22 more CPSCs and 7,000 more companies onto the platform. Medium enterprises will also be included in the scope of the suppliers.